we have the Taal volcano erupting earlier this morning. To give us more details on this, we have on the phone this afternoon, FIVOC's director, Director Renato Solidum, joining us. Director Solidum, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Riza. Mm -hmm. Director, are we expecting more phreato magmatic bursts in the coming hours from Taal? It is possible. <laughs> the magma is interacting with the groundwater in Taal volcano. We see these uh, phreato magmatic eruptions occurring. The scale, though, is not so large compared to the January 2020 eruptions, uh, but the possibility still exists. Although, as of 8.59, when the last uh, activity uh, was observed, uh, no uh, eruptions have occurred since then. Mm -hmm. Director, again, to clarify, you're saying this is not as alarming as the uh, activity of the Al volcano back in January, but in the next coming hours, are we expecting perhaps the situation to worsen? Uh, we don't see it yet. Uh, we are monitoring the volcano if uh, this uh, activity will continue. We uh, Big difference between January 2020 and the activities which started last year now and this year would be the uh, amount of gas uh, inside the magma that is being erupted. In January of 2020, the magma uh, rose suddenly to the uh, shallow part of uh, the volcano, and this triggered large explosions. Now, in this case, starting last year, the magma has, written, has risen slowly, enabling gases to be released and not trapped within the magma. So if ever there, are, there will be explosions, as we stated last year, uh, that the initial explosions of the volcano will not be large compared to the 2020 eruption. We are monitoring if there will be new magma that uh, will rise from below and how fast they would rise because then it can trigger stronger eruptions. We have not seen that activity yet. Mm -hmm. Sir, can you give us an update on the areas that are needed to be evacuated as of right now? Well, the barangays that were mentioned already, the two barangays of Aconcilio, Bilibinwang and Banyaga, and the three barangays of uh, Laurel, Busoboso, Golod, and part of uh, Bugan East, the eastern part, which is within seven, uh, would be those recommended for evacuation. Mm -hmm. So far, they're continuing to evacuate the residents. Uh, but other than those mentioned barangays, no evacuation is recommended. What the other barangays should do is to uh, closely monitor the activity of the AL through our updates and make sure that together with the local government uh, executives, they review uh, and, uh, and finalize their evacuation plan if they have not done so, if in case there will be an escalation of activity. Mm -hmm. uh, final question, sir. Sh should, um, are we expecting from here, Metro Manila, that the asphalt could reach, um, again, the, the metro or perhaps some other parts in Batangas? Well, essentially, the, the distribution of us is dependent on the, the height of the eruption column, which would be dependent on the explosiveness of the eruption, plus the prevailing wind direction. Currently, the air trajectory as forecast by Pagasa uh, uh, at the shallow level would be towards the western side. No? So, so far, we don't see any threat to Metro Manila with the current activity because the eruption columns are very low and the uh, wind direction is not towards Metro Manila. All right, thank you for sharing with us this information. That's FIVOC's director, Mr. Renato Solidum.